Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're finally getting to my thank you for 3,000 subscribers video, which is my boyfriend and our dog pick my makeup with a special guest. So I was so happy to finally be able to do this, and I'm so shocked that we hit 3,000 subscribers. To be honest, I never thought that I would get you know, this far with just my little YouTube channel that I do for fun, but uh, I love it. I love waking up every day and thinking what I get to do and uh, I just thank you guys. So in this video, my boyfriend picked out the majority of my makeup, but we picked out a couple of like duplicates here and there so that my corgi and <laughs> my boyfriend's brother's dog, which is a little French bulldog named Cuddy, could pick out from those two choices as well. By the way, both Cuddy and Rex, the two dogs, have their own Instagram pages. I'll throw them up right here and link them down in the description box if you guys just want to see a lot of cute dog photos and catch up with them. So let's go ahead and jump into the footage of them all picking my makeup. Are you ready to pick some makeup? Ready. Are they ready? Who knows? Who knows? Okay. First category is going to be foundation. So we have down here, we've got my entire foundation drawer mm -hmm. and we have my everyday makeup drawer for foundation. So, hey kids, shush. Oh, these two. Shush. These two. Yes, so pick out two foundations because then we're going to have the dog children pick out one. Guys, guys, what are you doing? Stop it. I'll put one of you on the bed. Rex would be better on the bed because Cuddy can't get up there, I think. Okay, well then pick out your, you picked out one already? This one seems a bit dark. <laughs> oh. Those are your choices? Yes. Awesome. So we're going to go ahead and already pause and I'm going to put one of them on the bed. <laughs> God damn it. Rex, come here. He's safe on the bed now. From that one. Stay on the good. Stay in the bed. And you stay there. Okay. Next, we're gonna do concealer. So I also have concealer in this drawer. It's all the small tubes. Okay? The baby tubes? The baby tubes. And the rest of them in my collection are right here. So out of all of those baby tubes, pick out two. Rex, stay in the stay in the bed. God damn it. <laughs> this one. <laughs> that one. Beautiful. So what I need from you is to pick out one loose powder, one pressed powder, a blush, a bronzer, and a highlighter. You got all that? No. Okay. So. Where be the loose? So, this is a loose powder, this is a loose powder, and then my other loose powders, there's this one. Kids! And there's this one. So, pick one out of here, and then for pressed powders, you have this one, this one, and this whole section here. Ooh, this be new. <laughs> Wanna wreck it? I've used that a, a lot already. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It just looks nice. Yeah. <laughs> Are those your final choices? Yes. Beautiful. So, you gotta pick a blush and a bronzer. So I have a, all my blushes in here. And I have all my bronzers in here. This is a blush palette, so it technically goes in there, but doesn't fit. And the next drawer has all of the like contour and highlights, so we'll do those next. Bloosh. Oh my god, they're so loud. I'll go with the first choice for blush. Okay. And then bronzer. Brandy. Oh. 
You know what's nice? What? A transparent top. <laughs> so you can see what's inside? Mm. Mm. Let go with this. Beautiful. Okay. So most of this is all highlighters. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I would say go through all the... <laughs> Hello, children. I would say go through all of the highlighters here and pick... We'll pick two. That way they can pick one. Oh, look. Dog hair inside your... Yeah, well, that's to be expected. <laughs> well, this is almost done. Boop, 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 ba -doop, ba -doop, boop. What did you call that one? A dwa. A dwa. A dwa. Okay. It's Dior, but okay. <laughs> boop, 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 ba -doop, ba -doop, boop. Also, those palettes that are in there, most of those are highlighter palettes. So mm. if you want to look at those too. You're giving me too much choice. I know. <laughs> I've got a lot of highlighters. You know about the psychology thing about yeah paralyzed paralysis. by choice choice paralysis <sighs> you know what I'm just gonna do that did you pick two so that they could pick one? Oh yes yeah pick an extra one so the dogs can pick uh -huh. oh look this is empty you want this out <laughs> No, because I depotted that. That's in my 9 pan 19, which I can link up above if you want to watch. But yeah, they're in my Everyday Z palette. Go, go, go. His breathing worries me. That's because he got a scrunched up face. Yeah. Go, go, go. I'm gonna go with that. Beautiful. How are you doing so far? How do you feel? Okay. Just okay? Yes. Okay. So, for eyeshadow palettes, to make it easier, I thought maybe I could just show you the most recent ones I have gotten. Mm -hmm. And then from there, you pick four. And we'll have him pick one. And we'll have him pick one. And then you pick from those two. Excuse me, Cuddy, what are you doing? Okay. So, what do you think about that? Should I just show you the recent ones? Or do you want to go through my entire collection? Recent ones. That would make <laughs> it a lot easier. Right? Okay. Let me get them together. Really doesn't help that they're doing all of this under the chair. Well, we're ready to go, mister. Okay. These are all of my recent eyeshadow palettes. From here, you will pick four, and the children will decide from there. Boop. Boop. So your strategy is to open all of them? Yes. <laughs> or as much as possible. Well. <gasps> Mister. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my God, it actually broke. Pause. <laughs> oh no, kids get away, move. <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> There's dog hair. Yeah. I don't know what order these go in. <laughs> We're about to find out. At least we know now that it's pretty easy to depot those. Yep. You just need to smack it. Yes. <laughs> just give it a good old whack, huh? Okay, so now we're back in action. The, the palette is safe, but it is a bit mixed up now. And we're back with some better lighting. So, here's, here's the palette. It is fine. So you're gonna pick out four palettes overall from all of these, and then the kids will pick from there. Kids, stop it. Stop it. 
Rex, get on the bed. Rex, come up. Come here. Rex. Stay on the bed. Stay. Stay. <laughs> Is that your strategy? Yes. There we go. So those are your four? Yes. Okay, so the uh -huh Honey Palette, the Essence Crystal Iced Palette, the Essence Spice Up Your Life Palette, you like Essence, huh? And the Ace Beauté Oceanic Palette. So, all you have left to pick is primer and setting spray. So, pick, uh, should we do... Just keep that. Here. Yeah, just do one primer and one setting spray. I said, please read the packaging. I'm looking for a face primer. I'll do that one. Okay, now, pick a setting spray. Oh, oh you picked a good. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> okay, we're good. Okay, Rex, come here. Hi, Cuddy. Rex, come here. Okay, so. Ready? Go! Pick one. Pick one, Rex. Nope, right around. One of you choose. <laughs> pick a foundation. Pick a. F <laughs> Cuddy, pick a foundation. One of you choose. That one. Oh, I think Cuddy picked one. <laughs> okay. Which one? Which one? They're just picking what's in your right hand. Well, this has been chosen twice. <laughs> This has been chosen once. Well, if they pick the other thing that's in your left hand, it's not gonna count. Or in your right hand. Pick one. Children? Pick one. Yeah, right hand has been Whoa, the thing wait. so far. He went to the left hand too. Okay, Rex, pick one. Rex? Rex, choose. Yeah, there we go. Oh, okay, so that one. Ready? I shut our palettes round one. Oh, burp, burp, burp. Okay. Rex chose this one. Cody is choosing this one. Oh, yeah, he scratched at that one. Oh, see, Rex. He's actually participating. Could you at least try? Boop, 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 you're not pulling your weight here, buddy. You're just not. Final eyeshadow palette round. <laughs> oh, okay, Cuddy made his choice. Oh, yeah. oh, he's interested. Rex, pick one. Rex, come on, pick, just pick one. No, that's, does that mean that palette? <laughs> Might as well. 
Rex isn't participating. Rex is a lazy butt. You did so well last time I did this video. Why didn't you, you do it this time? He's a teenager. Oh, he's... No, he's not. He's in his 20s. <laughs> Hi, guys. So we're here. I have all of the makeup that the boys picked out, and we're going to put it all on my face. <laughs> I was actually pretty impressed by a lot of the choices, I got to say. I think my boyfriend has improved a lot from the last time that he uh, picked my makeup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm looking a bit like Christmas right now. Okay. And you know what? The dogs did a pretty decent job too. And by dogs, I mean Cuddy because Rex wasn't really participating that much. Okay, so first I'm going to jump in with the primer. So this is what my boyfriend picked out. This is the makeup priming spray from Scandinavia. And to be honest, I haven't really used this a whole lot even though it's like a little mini sample. feels really nice and refreshing. So I think I'm gonna do a little bit more on my forehead. So I'm gonna let that sit and sink in for just a minute. And then the foundation that won amongst everyone was one of my favorites from Wet n Wild. This is the Wet n Wild Pump Makeup Locker 3-in-1 BB Cream. So I think I'm also going to use the little salmon color corrector under my eyes before I go in with the BB Cream. So I'm gonna take a brush and this is the easiest way to do it, is just to go in with a brush and then apply it just under the eyes. I do prefer to go in with like my finger when I'm doing an under eye corrector, but my nails are pretty long and this case is like really small. So now that we have that applied, I'm going to go in with the BB cream and the shade that he picked out. Because there are a lot of shades <laughs> in my drawer and so my boyfriend picked out this shade, which is Fair Light, which I believe should match me. We'll see. I am pale as hell right now, so I'm just kind of like hoping this matches. It's actually, ooh, it's actually a little light. Look at me. But I can make it work because I think we got a dark face powder and everything, so we'll, we'll make this work. I'm going to apply this with this brush, and then I'm going to go in and blend it out with another brush and then with a sponge. And to be quite honest, I don't know how long I'm going to be wearing this, so I'm just going to take it to my jawline and not much further. So we are looking very dewy and very nice right now. So we're going to go in with the concealer, which is the Makeup Revolution Super Size Conceal Undefined in the shade C6. So this is a bit of a heavy duty concealer to use with such a, like a light coverage BB cream. So I think I'm going to take it around my face as well. Take it a bit under the eyes and then you can see the shade difference right there already. Take a little bit there, a little bit on the chin and we'll do some more on the forehead. And I'm going to blend all of this out with my Shop Miss A sponge. Let's do the chin first. The loose powder that was chosen was the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade 10, which I'm actually very grateful for. I absolutely love this powder. And to apply this powder, I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Poof. And I think since we have a bit of a heavy face powder following this, I'm going to apply this over the majority of my face. So let's go under the eyes. Over the nose. Okay, there we go. It's just because I know the face powder that was chosen is A, a bit too dark for me, and B, pretty heavy. I wanted to make sure we kind of had everything locked down before we jumped in. So the face powder that was chosen was from Clinique, and this is the Super Powder Double Face Makeup in number two matte beige, which is pretty dark. This is actually like a powder foundation, so it's a bit heavier than most powders. And I'm going to set basically like the perimeters of my face. I'm going to do like up here. Let's do like where we would be contouring and bronzing. Okay, so we're looking a bit darker, but we're going to roll with it. 
So next we have the bronzer that was picked, and this is actually from Makeup Geek, and this is the Medium Skin Bronzer in the shade Tawny. So I think this is, again, a bit... Uh, drop the brush. Again, a bit too dark for me, but let's... Let's see, I'll use a bit of a light hand, tap off the excess. I also didn't have them pick out a bronzer. I was trying to go for a bit of a more, I don't know, a soft look. <laughs> I don't know how this is all gonna work out, but. Take a little bit onto the temples. Take a little bit onto the temples. Why am I singing? Okay, so that looks decent. I think it really only looks okay because I've already darkened <laughs> my face significantly with like the powder and the concealer, but it did blend out really nicely. So since we are not contouring today, our next step is going to be blush and highlight. And, and what my boyfriend chose was the Natasha Denona Blush and Glow little mini palette with like this kind of hot pink blush and a highlighter. So I'm gonna take my smallest blush brush and just kind of come in here. And I really want to take this like high. I don't want my blush to be like too low. So let's see. There we go. That should probably be enough. <laughs> I'm gonna blend that out with a dual fiber brush before I go in with the highlight side. So let's, I like taking my highlight on my Cupid's bow. Onto my nose. Surprisingly, this is actually like a very subtle highlight compared to a lot of other highlights. And again, I'm going to blend that out with this duo fiber brush. I like having my blush and my highlight blended completely. We also picked an extra highlight, so why not just go in and be like a bit extra with this? So let's add a little bit more, add a little bit more over here. And add a little bit more over here. This is actually such, such a pretty shade that I rarely reach for. This is the Becca Light Chaser Highlighter in Pearl Flashes Gold. And I rarely reach for it, but it's really pretty. Oof. So we didn't pick out any brow products, but the eyeshadow palette that was picked does have a really really dark brown shade right here is the shade cinnamon rolls so i'm going to use that for my brows i'm just take like an angled brush and let's not try not make my brows look nuts so that actually looks really nice i'm very impressed so before i go in for my eyes i want to set the rest of my face with the setting spray that was picked, which is from Catrice, and this is the Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Setting Spray. So the face overall is actually looking really good so far, other than the fact that it's like a shade off <laughs> from my actual skin tone, but we'll work around that. So like I mentioned earlier, the eyeshadow palette that was picked was from Essence, and this is the Spice Up Your Life eyeshadow palette, which is a very fall cute palette so I'm gonna use this and create kind of a simple look I'm actually being called to like the orange shade in here so we'll see I did bring my concealer up and kind of prime this because I we didn't pick an eyeshadow primer so I brought my concealer up so I'm gonna just basically set that again with like the light pale shade in this palette make sure everything's all nice and set Okay, so I'm not really impressed with the shadows so far. They take a bit of building up. I took the three of the shadows on this side of the palette, this yellow, the orange, and the red, because I wanted to see how they worked. Uh, the yellow and the orange are shimmers, so I was hoping I could build them up in my crease, but they kind of didn't look that great. The red actually looks pretty nice. I think the red looks really nice, but the fallout was a bit crazy, and I'm upset that the fallout actually stained a bit. So I'm going to try and take the loose powder I used earlier to clean that up a little bit because I don't want like this big orange patch 
like under my eye, you know? So we'll try to put this here, let it sit for a few and clean that up. Ah, thank God for the loose powder that came in to save the day. <laughs> it looks a lot better. So now that we have all of this done, we didn't pick a lipstick out or mascara because uh, the uh, attention span of both my boyfriend and the dogs was a bit low. <laughs> So I'm going to jump off, throw some mascara on, pick out a lipstick, and we'll be right back. Alright guys, so here we are with the final look. I'm honestly very impressed with how everything worked. The only downside was that the shade was a bit too dark for me with all the powders working together. And the concealer that I used, I know, does not work well with sweat. So probably isn't the best for the summer, but I'm probably gonna take this off soon anyway. I'm probably just gonna show my boyfriend and then take it all off, but this was a lot of fun to do and I really liked how this came out. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you all for 3,000 subscribers. I honestly never thought I would hit 1,000, much less 3,000, so just know that I really appreciate each and every one of you and I'm just so happy that we've been able to build this little community and I just, I wake up every day looking forward to getting to communicate with you guys and like make more videos. So thank you. Thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.